Hello, it is time. It is, what time is it now? It is half past one, coming up to two. And look at that, it's not bad. So that's just from activity, ambient temperature, what have you. It's not bad at all. Now, no, not, not use that one just yet. No, that's uh, still got a bit of moisture to it. I've been eating pomelo. And yes, I've been eating lemons. Uh, or rather, I've been having honey and lemon tea with bits of ginger in it. You know, some people say, oh, I make a tea out of ginger and, and turmeric and... Uh, and uh, ginger and turmeric and, and chilli and like so you're having a worse version of a, of a curry why not just have a curry now let's see because that was just the pith it's not the rind which has got the citrus oils in but let's just put a flame to it and see what happens and well it's burning. So that's something. At least it is burning. Oh, it's snuffed out. All right, okay. <sighs> Probably better to use one of the modern citrus fruit, like grapefruit, oranges. Uh, mandarin, actually. Mandarin and tangerine, because you've got a very thin rind of that. So a lot more citrus oils, I imagine. Really, just it's not a case of oh, I'm specially buying this fruit to use as fire lighters. No, it should just be a case of you, you buy the fruit because you enjoy eating it, and that's why I enjoy pomelo. So, yes, hobbies. Last video, I spoke about uh, computers being a hobby, and uh, in this video. My hobby is is cars. Now, I I did briefly until I decided. You know what? I don't like working fifteen hour shifts because you're doing twelve. But then suddenly it's like, oh look, you gotta go, you gotta go here, and it's it's gonna take you over twelve hours, and that's that's very tiring. But I was briefly doing vehicle recovery, and it was. Uh, it was a good experience because most of the vehicles you recover are, are modern ones, but occasionally there are uh, classic cars, and more and more I realise just classic cars are crap. I hate them. They're really awful. And I've always liked Jags. I've had the um, privilege of being driven around to my friend's XJ before, and you know, I sat in the back seat. Cousin was sat in the front, and in the back, I was just like, I really understand why people like these. This is nice. And then I just saw one on the market and thought, that is in my price range. And it wasn't a sensible decision, but my heart absolutely 100% said, You're having that. So I did. And uh, sometimes the heart tells us what we want and we should do it. And funny enough, I was talking to my dad about this as well. My car's doing an MOT at the moment. And uh, they absolutely don't want to repair the headlights. Which is fair enough, you know. They, they'll do what they can. I've uh, sourced some, some headlights myself. And I'm reasonably confident that what I've got is compatible. Because it seems to be that it was the same headlight casings from 1999 to 2007 just the entire run of the S-Type. So I have, uh, I bought some units, second hand, refurbed, and when they come I'll be fitting them myself. And in the old units I'll be uh, selling to the same guy I'm buying the refurb units for, who are offering me £15 for each one. Which is not much, but it's better than nothing. And, uh, I was talking to my dad about this, and he says, you're at the right age. 
that these things are worth doing because there'll be memories. Much like he, when he was younger, had his Triumph motorcycles, and he's got his memories of those. And he says, sometimes these things aren't practical. Sometimes they are more expensive than what we'd like, but you, you need to do it for your heart so that when, and when you're older and won't be able to appreciate these things, you'll be able to appreciate the memories. And I think I understand it, Mike. I appreciate the memories I've got of horse riding love to do it again. I'm always happy to give way to horses in, uh, on the road. Well, the other thing as well, I don't know about you, but if I'm, if I'm driving, oh, oh dear, if I'm driving for 10 hours a day or longer as it is in the case, but if I'm doing an 8 to 12 hour shift, driving around, I'm not in a hurry. I know things are going to take a certain amount of time. And I know I might get to a depot and they're like, oh, we're very sorry. We've been absolutely busy, short-staffed, you know, usual excuses. And uh, we're not ready to load you up yet. So I've, I've been waiting sometimes three hours in a depot. And in which case... You think all the time you save rushing around, which would probably amount to like five, ten minutes if you're, you know, really, really foot, foot to the floor and just not giving away to anybody. So now, instead of waiting three hours in the depot, you're waiting there three hours and ten minutes. Well done. So yes, I'm quite happy to give way to horse riders on the road. Well, for a start, you ought to, because, come on, I mean, horses, it's not, it's not a uh, bicycle, it's not a car. They're living, breathing creatures, which are unpredictable. And it's nice to, you know, just show them that you're not a danger and they don't have to be scared of you. And, uh, but it's also the thing that every time I see them, I just, it reminds me of the time when... I used to go horse riding, and there's a photograph of me in my grandparents' house where I'm sat on top of the horse, and I've got the most smug expression I have ever seen on my fizzog. Ever. It's a really great expression. It's just like, look at, look at that little hobbit there, sat atop that horse, smiling like he's lord of the manor. And you know... I think I was more proud riding that horse than I have been of any car, any lorry, any other vehicle. Because a horse is a living creature. And it's, it's a different thing to master a horse than it is a car. Well, I'm a lot more comfortable in the car. Anyway, I think, yeah, look at that, it's still there. So we'll have that door ajar like that. That's me done. I want to get back to playing, um, I'll show you.